We're going to talk about poaching today, uh, vital for the game of doubles and can really hurt the other team mentally and also in terms of destroying a lot of their tactics. So part of this, the beauty behind poaching is you've got to make it work. And a real simple drill here, I'm going to feed, starting with Megan, I'll feed a ball out and then in, but I want to focus on every one of them knowing you need to move here to poach. If you start moving across, you won't get to the ball. The shortest distance is a straight line. So this is purely a dead ball drill, but it's to really emphasize the movement part. I'll do it really quickly, but then we'll start again with a live ball drill. So Megan, you ready? Here's one for you. And now look, Megan, you got to cut in some. There we go. You do this a couple of times so they get the hang of how to move in. That's the key here. And let's take a look. Got to, whoa. If you can do that, why take lessons, huh? Excellent. And now go. And you've got it. So this, this is purely to emphasize the movement pattern. It has nothing to do with actually faking the poach. I could certainly make the drill a little bit more relevant by saying I'll make a go drill. So till I say go, you have to keep volleying, but you're not going to move. But when I say go, you have to, you have to move on that. It's, I'm, I'm mixing it up a little bit, so go. Gotcha. Next in. Good. I didn't say go. I didn't say go. Go. And we go. Right? Next in. And Megan, I didn't say go as yet. I didn't say go. I didn't say go. Good. Hang in there and keep volleying. Hang in there and keep volleying. Now go. So this, again, under stress, you notice, they, they tend to go here because we all do. But I want you under pressure to start moving in and not across your body. So let's try it again. Go. And again, go. Excellent job. Now remember, if I don't say go, you stay right where you are and you keep volleying. And again, go. Gotcha. Right? He went across his body. So that's a big, a big reason is to make sure you're moving in some. Remember you all said you could see that? Okay, Megan. Go. Wow. Go. Excellent job. We get it. Excellent. Right? Go. So, excellent job. And go and go again. Go. So we, we do this. They get the hang of this now. We're going to move this into a playing situation because you want to make it relevant. These are unplanned poaches. We're not talking about serving and poaching. We're talking about the, the ball is going back and forth. And I want you to have this sense of how you poach and you hurt people. So here's the drill. Brigitte, for you and me, we're just going to keep the ball in play. You both are looking to poach. Now, a quick thing. Watch, if you look at the hips, if my partner's about to hit the ball, should I be facing her or the other person over there? Absolutely. I, my hips need to be here because she's the one who's probably going to hurt me. This is not common sense. However... If the ball has gone over there, then Megan will be facing here. Does that make sense? So when people say that there's not enough movement in doubles, you might not be hitting enough ball. There's a lot of movement. So let's just take a quick look. Remember, Brigitte, you and I cannot come in. We're just going to be nice. You can poach whenever you like. And again, good. Again, good job, Megan. Look where the hips are. Super. That was yours. And now, Kelly, that's got your name written all over it. And this, this is purely designed to get them in the mindset when and how you need to face to move. Otherwise, you cannot poach. Let's try it again. And love the idea. If you missed, fantastic, because you tried the right shot. Switch. Very important. If someone is going and going to the right spot to poach, your job as a coach is to acknowledge it. If he or she totally blows it, no big deal. But you have to make sure they're poaching. Ready again. Good work, Megan. Go. Isn't that nice? Switch. Now, from a teaching standpoint, I take myself out of this. I'm going to work only with one of you to make sure I know which way your hips are going and which way they're facing. So I'll be stationed here. I'm looking at the two of you. You both are important, but not that much. Okay? Make sure we are focusing as teachers, we're also focusing on the net people and how they move and or don't move. If the hips are not lined, you're not able to poach. And then you switch. Beautiful. Excellent. Loved it. Loved it again. Good job. Kelly, that was yours. 
right? And let me tell you why, why I said, Kelly, that was yours. If this is rule of thumb, and for all of you, if you can just follow, what, if the head goes like this, right? Watch the head. If the head goes like this, it means you could have poached. Think about it. It takes much less time to go here than to go, I think I should have moved. So let's try it again. That's why I said it was yours, because I saw the, the head. Go again, Vijay. Good work. Excellent. Excellent again. I love the, uh, your hips in the right spot. Good work. That might have been yours. Good. Go, go, go. The, the one, the one that, that, that you hit, which I loved, remember, if on the last one, if Megan had been facing the wrong way, she would have no play in the ball, and she would really not like the sport. She was fully, she could see this, this other lady over there, you know, there's this... Uh, She's foaming at the mouth. So then you just stay put. You're going to defense. You might not get the ball back, but that's your best bet. One last one. Super. Good work. Excellent job, Kelly. Hold up. You folks are doing way too well. So we're going full court. They have a lot more time to react, but I want to still have the same sense of the ball goes in a certain direction. You move towards that direction. It is imperative to point out the last two drills, you do not need one of us to coach. Get a bunch of friends and start doing this. It's instantaneous improvement. So one more time. Good. Got it. Excellent work. And again. Good. And go. Oh, I thought I had you there. Up, up, up. Super. I loved it. Love, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You remember that your goal is to confuse us. Once again, my fault. And again, a big part of poaching, you've got to make sure people understand they will, the other team will tell you all you need to know about when to move and to not. Here's the most basic drill, which you, you should do on your own, and it's pretty effective. Vijay, take my spot, please. Okay, you're all at the service line. Service line. So... I want to make sure they understand how to read the opponent's body. Is it defense or offense? And they're going to make decisions. That's how you poach. So look, I'm going to feed this ball. You play the point out. So if I feed her this, Vijay, what do you think? Are you in trouble? Yes. Good. Would you guys move in or stay? stay? Good. What if I fed them this? Excellent job. Let's try it. Okay? You can self-feed this afterward, but for now, I just want you to get the hang. What your opponent, are they in trouble? Or are they way too happy? you got to make some decisions then. This is part of poaching. For the sake of this drill, just move up a little bit more. That's perfect. Move up a little bit more, Megan. Okay, now you guys decide. Right. And again. And again. That's good. Let's go. Smart play. Yep. But that, no, but that's beautiful. Big thing here is they have to decide, are you an offense or defense, and then make decisions. That changes every time the ball is hit. So it, it, just because you're an offense one time, doesn't mean you stay in offense. You've got to make some decisions. So one last one. Good. Uh, they were in there. Good. I'm not even... Again. Excellent. You see her moving? Perfect. Kelly was lower. She was ready for defense. This is the key. You have to know which ball on, to move in or not to move in. So look, one last one right here. Vijay, I'm so happy for you. So we hope... You've discovered all the joys behind poaching. It's imperative to point out, if you go for the poach and you blow it, it's absolutely okay. I ask you to do it more because just by moving, you're distorting the other person's, the other team's perception of what the open spaces are, and that's your job. The last one that we showed you in terms of the body and the... You must be cognizant of your opponent's body language. If they look... Like this, you probably are not going to be poaching. If they look like this, you can probably walk up, yawn, and then poach. I mean, it's, it's really, but you have to be prepared and you must train for this. So we're, we're hoping you've enjoyed this uh, little session on poaching. If you do this, you will hurt the competition. You might not have too many friends after this, but that's a good thing. Thank you so much for coming out and hearing us. Thank you.